Hey, what is up guys? It's Brennan here and today we're going to be comparing Square versus PayPal, which is the better solution for you in your small business. And when it comes to processing payments, whether it be in person, online, or just really what is the best solution for you in your business in general? What offers the best tools and how are they similar and different? What are their pros and cons? That's what we're going to be breaking down here in today's video. And before we dive into things, I do want to mention guys, be sure to smash that like button, hit the subscribe button as well, and notification bell so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. But anyway, guys, without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into the comparison. So first, taking a look at Square. Square really offers a wide variety of different tools to power your overall business. And while Square does offer the ability to power your overall business, you can also just use them to accept payments as well. So if you want to sell in person, online, maybe you need a website, or even if you just want to accept payments through invoicing, Square does offer a wide variety of tools similar to PayPal's. Well, we'll be getting into those uh, aspects in a little bit later in this video, uh, but more specifically diving into Square itself. Of course, as you can see here, you can sell anywhere. So you have the ability to utilize their point of sale hardware. So they do have point of sale hardware that you can get through them. Uh, you can also accept online payments and they also have different ways to diversify revenue streams such as maybe utilizing Square appointments and doing appointment booking through them. They also have that as well. Square really does offer a ton of different tools for business in general, whether you're, again, a restaurant, uh, retail, beauty, or whatever type of service or product that you sell and that you need a platform in order to use and accept payments. So as you can see here, you can sell in person with their Square Terminal, point of sale. Uh, you can also reach online shoppers with their Square Online. And the other nice thing about Square in general is all these different tools are connected in one unified dashboard as well uh, through the Square backend. You can also get paid through Square invoices. So you also have invoicing uh, with them as well, as well as all the different hardware. And it's all connected in one uh, dashboard, whether you need you know, sales, payments, even payroll, inventory management, all of those different aspects that are important to small businesses. Uh, in addition to that, they also have a bunch of different apps that you can connect to if you do need those third-party integrations. Uh, you also have that option there. You have their different hardware, uh, and you also have you know integrations with popular uh, different software, like I mentioned on the channel and talk about a lot, like QuickBooks, Xero, uh, WooCommerce, other different commerce integrations or other different app integrations uh, for your finance tools or other types of website uh, management, different other aspects, reporting, finances, websites, whatever you need. Uh, in addition to that, of course, they also have the ability to take contactless payments with just your iPhone as well. So Square really does offer a wide variety of different products and services uh, for lots of different business types. And even they do service large businesses as well with some of their more enterprise level plans. You have to contact them for them for that. And you can also sign up with them for free. They do have a free plan. So that pretty much rounds out, you know, what is Square uh, in a nutshell. Now let's take a look at PayPal. In terms of what PayPal offers, PayPal is, again, quite a bit different from Square. Uh, they are a payment platform. So they work for both personal or business. Of course, in this video, we're primarily focusing on PayPal for business, but you can also use PayPal for personal use if you just need to request or send money and things like that, which is a bit different from Square. Uh, realistically, the most accurate comparison, especially for this video here today, is really Square and their business solutions versus PayPal and their business solutions. But you can still utilize PayPal uh, accounts for personal use as well if you do need a uh, some of the functionality like sending money, uh, similar to like a Zelle or a money transfer service. You can also do that with PayPal, but in terms of their business and accepting payments, uh, PayPal for business, of course, you can accept payments with them and a ton. The nice thing about PayPal is just so many people use them. Now you can accept credit card payments with both Square and PayPal as well uh, if you're looking to accept payments. But with PayPal, nice thing about accepting payments with PayPal is that you know, people can pay with PayPal or Venmo uh, on your site or in your POS system if you have that set up as well. So you can set, accept credit card payments. Uh, if you do need a POS system, PayPal does have their Zettle program uh, and you can utilize and purchase the Zettle 
uh, hardware to then utilize the point of point of sale systems uh, that PayPal also offers. Uh, in addition to, you know, as you can see here, accepting uh, PayPal or PayPal later or credit cards as well uh, through the online checkout. They also do have installment payments that you can offer as well as invoicing. So you can also do invoicing with PayPal. Uh, in addition to that, as you can see here, uh, you can see sort of what the checkout process would look like. So you can power your online checkout as well as setting up a point of sale system if you do need to sell uh, in person uh, as well. Now, overall, I'd say that Square definitely has a bit more hardware to offer compared to PayPal in terms of their point of sale systems. Uh, of course, we'll be taking a look at a few other aspects as well, uh, comparing them, but at least within their point of sale systems. Uh, you know, PayPal does have their flexible card reader and their all-in-one terminal, whereas Square definitely has a bit more hardware in terms of their point of sale offerings. You definitely have a lot more options in terms of setting up your in-person payments if you are using them uh, for in-person payments again. So as you can see here, they have their readers, the Square register, the Square stand, the terminal, uh, reader for MagStripe, as well as uh, you know, if you need that for, depending on what type of plug you need for your iPhone uh, or other device. Uh, another thing that's nice about Square is that that first reader is free. So that's cool uh, if you do want to, you know, utilize a free um, point of sale system, then you can do that with that offering from Square. Uh, additionally, of course, you know, when you're sending invoices, you also have that opportunity on both platforms. So realistically, both platforms really do serve a lot of similar features, right? You have a lot of similar features when it comes to point of sale. You have invoicing, you have, you know, online checkout, accepting payments. I will say if you do need an actual website, uh, it definitely would be better to go with Square because you can actually build out a complete online store with them. Whereas with PayPal, uh, in terms of setting up an online store, you would need another e-commerce platform such as Shopify, WooCommerce, BigCommerce, uh, Equid. I, mean, I go through that a lot on this channel here if you're interested in learning more about different e-commerce platforms and stuff like that and building out websites. Uh, you know, Square does have a website platform that you can create a website on if you need to accept payments through a website. Uh, PayPal, you can still accept payments directly through their invoicing system without the need of a website. But if you do need a website uh, and you want to use PayPal, then you would have to, again, use an external platform and then utilize PayPal uh, to accept payments. Now, at the end of the day, if you're just looking at, okay, which is the better uh, payment provider to accept payments and comparing them in that respect, uh, you know, I would say that Square is maybe a little bit better in terms of accepting payments. However, it is because of the fact that uh, you can run into some issues with PayPal if you are a bigger company, maybe if you're scaling, depending on the type of nature and industry that you're in, depending on if you're a low risk, medium, or high risk. And ultimately, you could still sort of run into that with Square as well. Um, in terms of the risk of your business, depending on what types of products you sell, what type of services that you offer. Uh, realistically, you could run into that with both, but I, I just feel like a lot more people complain and have that issue with PayPal. So if you're a low risk business, really nothing to worry about with either. But if you are on that mid or mid level risk, mid to high risk, then you may have more issues with PayPal. It seems like people are maybe just a little bit more vocal with that issue on PayPal uh, compared to Square. Uh, but in general, the nice thing about PayPal is that they do have more international offerings. So if you are uh, an international consumer and you're looking to accept payments online, Definitely, PayPal has a lot more countries that they offer for accepting payments in comparison to Square. Uh, both, you know, still accept a good amount of different countries, but you do have more international uh, options within PayPal just because it is super popular and used more internationally as well. Now, ultimately, when you're deciding between the two as well for accepting payments uh, on your online store or on your website or, you know, really in general, just accepting payments, not considering like point of sale and overall business management, if you're just looking at it for processing payments, you could still use both at the end of the day. And that's what I would generally recommend to most people uh, for accepting payments is the more types of payments that you can offer and accept on your website, the more opportunities and the better conversion rates that you may have just because, hey, if someone is using PayPal already, uh, then they can just pay with PayPal uh, on your site. And then they could also, you know, if you wanted to have like maybe a Square website, 
then you know you could accept payments through Square, but then you could also offer the ability to accept payments through PayPal. So that's another option. And it also is nice to diversify maybe your payment processing mix and have multiple different uh, payment processors or ways for your customers to pay. The more ways for your customers to pay, again, just ultimately the better that your conversion rate may end up being at the end of the day. Now, you know, comparing them as well in terms of you know, which is necessarily better than one. It really depends on your specific needs. In terms of the fees as well, of course, those fees are always changing. So be sure to check out their specific fee pages uh, in terms of their pricing and fees. Ultimately, I would say the fees when you're comparing Square to PayPal are fairly similar when you're comparing the fees of in-person, online, invoicing. They're, they're fairly comparable if you're looking at those per processed payment fees uh, from Square and with PayPal. They're they're fairly comparable and fairly similar uh, as well. So as you can see here, if you need, of course, e-commerce platforms, there's a bunch of different options out there. Again, I do mention that a lot on the channel. If you feel free to check out my other videos on different e-commerce platforms for accepting payments. So overall, you know, with PayPal and Square, both are great options that are worth considering. I'd say overall, you know, Square is probably the better choice for most people. If you need more of an all-encompassing payment processor, you need a website, maybe you need point-of-sale hardware, they definitely have more offerings and more products in general, right? They have the ability to do appointments, appointment booking as well. I just made a video covering some of the best appointment booking software. So if you need that, they also have loyalty programs, different templates, uh, just overall more business tools for building out an overall business. But again, maybe if you're already established and you don't necessarily need a brand new online store, you don't need their point of sale hardware, you're just looking at a payment provider to accept payments, PayPal can still be a great option for that. And maybe you're already used to using PayPal. Maybe you do already use PayPal for personal use. It can make sense to utilize PayPal for business use as well because it's all just in that one account or you know you can set up multiple different accounts. Uh, but, and then it's easy to send invoices through PayPal. Like it is, especially if you already are using PayPal, it's super easy to send invoices uh, through PayPal and you don't have to set up a whole nother account. Uh, but yeah, so hopefully you guys found this comparison helpful on PayPal and Square, Square versus PayPal. You know, the best solution really does depend on your specific needs. Hopefully you found these different kind of pros and cons helpful in making your decision. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to smash that like button, hit the subscribe button as well, and notification bell so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. But anyway, guys, that is all for today's video, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.